Do you consider the experience event that we're discussing an occurrence of prejudice? Yes, I do because for one, you said that because I'm black. And two, you said because my looks and my skin color. Yeah. Okay. How has this event impacted your life? It was just, it just felt kind of good to let him know that just don't don't judge me off my looks because you you would never thought that my people had the same exact power that you did. Like you would never you would never expect it. Has this event had a specific impact on your physical and or mental health? No, because he didn't know me enough to say something like that. And I myself knew that what he had to say didn't matter. Um, what is your view of those who had a hand in this experience? Police, uh, whites, blacks? My history teacher was actually a white, a white woman. And she felt that I was wrong for what I said, that my people were slave owners. But she didn't feel that he was wrong for calling me a comfort girl. And I felt like that was something that should have been an issue with him opposed to having an issue with me. Have you told others about your experience? I have. I told I told my mom and I told my aunts. And like we laughed about it because like if you look at our family you could tell that we're not fully black. We are mixed with multiple different races. So it's like it was a laughing matter once it was resolved. Um, what was their reaction to the news? Oh, okay. um, has this experience impacted your life for the positive or the negative? It didn't really, it didn't really bother me or affect me in no type of way. Um, in your opinion, have you received any justice in regards to this event? Yes. Um, oh, if you were so I'm if you were so empowered, what changes would you make to our current society in regards to race relations? Um, if I could, if I had, if I had, if I was empowered, I would try to talk to the youth because some of the images that we, some Im, don't get me wrong, some of the images that we do portray, we are, we are the reason that we get treated the way we treat it. And I feel like if someone would sit them down and actually talk to them and show them that, hey, if you do this this way, this could happen to you. And I feel like some people are not taught that so they don't know. And then they, that's the question. Is that something else that you would like to share at this time? Anything whatsoever, if, you ha uh, if we have not touched upon it? Do you consider yourself a person of faith? Yes, I do. If so, in what tradition? I am a Baptist. If you attend a house of worship, does your religious leader address the problem of racism? Yes, he does. My pastor speaks on every situation that's going on, and lately it has been police brutality, which is involved with racism. So he tries to speak out to us and let us know that, hey, wake up stop doing certain things, stop, like, just be careful, because they're out to get us, like, and it's not, uh, just be mindful of your decisions, and don't carry yourself as an African-American male that doesn't know what he's doing, and carry yourself as an intelligent, educated African-American, whether you are or not.
basically answered it.